Hi, good afternoon and welcome. My name is Sandra. My channel is called Sussex Sandra and welcome. How are we all doing? I hope we are doing well. We're all keeping safe and we're all keeping healthy. Yeah? Good on you. You've got to remember, we've got to all do our bit to fight this war we've got going on right now. Okay, so this afternoon I am doing an unboxing and it's probably the last of my March beauty boxes um, to arrive because today is March the 31st. So I've got one more box that I am expecting but it hasn't arrived as yet so it'll probably arrive in the next few days um, and that will be my boxy charm, uh, my boxy charm lux. Hasn't arrived as yet so when that arrives i will unbox it so the box i am doing today is the ipsy ipsy glam bag plus so this is the mid-level box and it's the one that costs 25 dollars so it's 25 dollars you get five full sized items inside this box I haven't got the review of the last month's box because I cancelled the box last month um, because I thought okay let me just go back to just doing the Ipsy Glam bag but I wasn't that impressed with the first Ipsy Glam bag and I was like oh god I kind of miss the Glam bag plus so I resubscribed so this month there is no review of a previous Ipsy Glam bag plus let's go inside and see what we have got going on here with Ipsy, they give you a choice to choose one item in each box. And they always give you that choice, usually in the last week of the previous month. Yes, usually in the last week of the previous month. I can't remember what that item was. And I also can't remember um, if I chose any add-ons. Because they normally give you options of add-ons as well. And I seriously can't remember if I did add-ons or not. I may have, but we'll find out. If I pull out more than five items, then you know I did an add-on. But saying that though, um, with Ipsy, because it's their 100th glam bag this month, this March 2020, they are giving it an additional item in each box, I believe. So instead of getting five items, I believe that all Ipsy subscribers are getting six items in their boxes instead. Don't quote me on that. We shall see when I go through this. So this is what the box looks like on the inside. So that's what it's looking like. It's well packaged. I don't believe anything has been taken out by um, Shippy2, the company which I use in the States, because sometimes they take out items that can't travel. So usually things like aerosols, um, nail varnish, that sort of thing flammable items they will take out and I don't think anything was taken out I believe well I haven't been charged for anything so hopefully not right let's have a look and see what we have here you get a card and that gives you the details of all the items in the box and we've got here what we've got giveaways for days March 25th choose a product oh I've done that already so that's for next month um, party on our 100th glam bag celebration is still going strong join us at Ipsy for exciting giveaways every single day epic products cash prizes and so much more we're ending the month with a bang okay all right it's one two three yeah it's six items inside this box so that is all good right the first item i'm going to bring out i know i'm going to be putting in my giveaway box but i think i've got a, i think i've got a similar item in the box already but we'll see so this is the first item and it's a it's a coffee scrub so this is the coffee scrub and it's a coconut body scrub um the value is what does that say the value is $21.99 and what it says here, so I need to go in the light here, this is typical me, it's early evening so I've finished work for the day, put on a bit of makeup, you know what I mean, before I come in front of the camera, in front of you guys. So um, here we go and you know me, I can't read anything in small print. So it says, turns out coffee isn't just for your morning zing, it's also packed with antioxidants which are great at repairing and protecting your skin too. This coffee infused scrub buffs and moisturises with grapeseed oil, almond oil and vitamin E so your skin will feel smooth, not stripped. Um, they give a tip. Tip, dampen your skin in the shower, then work the scrub over your body in circular motions, paying extra attention to rough areas like knees and elbows. Let it sit for a few minutes, then rinse away. 
okay so that's your first item i'm not going to be keeping that that's definitely going in my giveaway box so here we go this is my march giveaway box right here so that goes right there i think i'm going to have to rehouse this box or rebox it because this box is crammed so we'll go through that at the end next we've got something from the bomb oh okay see I like the bomb. I like the bomb and the design of the packages, but I must admit, I don't think I've actually received a product from the bomb, which I've um, I've used a lot. I think I've probably used it once or twice when I've received the item, but I think anything else I've received from the bomb, it just hasn't been something that I've used a lot. But this again looks really, really interesting. Um, I mean, again, with the bomb, love their packaging. So what we have here is the bomb cosmetics auto bomb day to night um, scoring the perfect smoky eye just got so much easier where any combo of matte and shimmer shades on bare lids they go on smooth and are ultra blendable or layer them over the black primer for a fun shade shifting effect and then we've got a tip once you've used up the shadows pop up the insert and save the uh, save the cute tin use it to keep little accessories like hair ties and bobby pins neat and organized and the value of this is $26.50 okay let's have a look see what we've got here oh these are really nice colors oh those are nice colors those are really really nice i'm definitely attracted to that middle it's not really showing up so well on the camera okay. yeah that gives a better idea this middle color here it's like a teal shimmer blue it looks really nice i'm not gonna swatch it because i might put this in my giveaway box as well because i think it's really cute and then which is unusual you've got a black primer that's unusual so i'll be interested to see how that goes on and what that looks like um listen whoever gets this tin can you please send me a photograph or post on instagram using these products so i can see how they look on but it's a great looking tin isn't it i mean it is a tin it's got a mirror um oh it's great it's really nice but i'm going to put that in the giveaway box as well i think because i don't need it I've, I've had so many eyeshadow palettes and I know I've received, I know when I get the Boxy Lux, there's two eyeshadow palettes in there, so I don't need this one. And obviously I gave away, um, in my Boxy Premium box, there was the Fenty Beauty one, so that's on eBay at the moment being sold. I've got bids on that already, so I'm pleased with that. So yeah, I'm going to put this one in the giveaway box as well, but this is lovely. If I can find the UK prices of all the items in the box, I will put the UK retail price. Otherwise, I'll put on the screen what the, the US price converts to in the UK. Alright, so that also goes in the giveaway box. The giveaway box is definitely looking more interesting now. I was a bit worried about it yesterday when I looked at it. I was thinking, oh, this box isn't hitting the spot for me as yet because I like to give good, good products. Right, what we got here? Next is from Marlin and Goetz Revitalizing Eye Gel. I've heard of this brand before. Um, I think I've received, what did I receive from them? I think I received a cleanser from these guys before in a latest in beauty box oh last year year before maybe that's the last time i really came across this brand so here we go we've got this here and this is um, marlin and go it's revitalizing eye gel um so your delicate eye area is the first to show signs of aging so give it love with this multitasking eye gel the lightweight texture soaks into skin without leaving behind any annoying residue and helps soften lines deep off bags soothe irritation and brighten up dark circles tip stash this gel in the fridge the extra chill works wonders when it comes to soothing and depuffing okay so let's show you what this looks like i'm probably going to keep this um i'm keeping all, i tend to keep most of my eye serums when i get them um i do like eye serums and i've been suffering proper since i had this cold last week over the weekend i've had some big creases under my eyes so i've been using sort of gel patches under my eyes um 
for the last two days and just your know, eye serums i'm giving my skin some really good treatment here so this is it that's what it looks like we've got here 15 mils which is 0.5 fluid ounces i think that says six months maybe i can't read it you know i can't read it um but it's got a once you open it how long it should stay open for but i think i'm going to put this into my routine to use soon actually so it's got a pump dispenser i'm just gonna okay so that's what it looks like yes yeah, so it's a nice serum and it feels feels very light actually quite water-based so I'm assuming this is all about the ingredients rather than how moisturising and hydrating it is. I'd say this is a hydrating ingredient intense product actually. It's got a light fragrance but again my sense of smell is not quite there as yet. So I'm looking forward to using that so that's good and it will get used. So hopefully I'll be able to review this next month. Oh, my phone's going crazy. What's going on here? Right, next. Oh, yes, so Ipsy, all levels. They seem to be giving a lot of these brushes at the moment. The um, Complex Culture. So this is my third brush from them. So what's this one? Okay. Oh, I've seen this one. This is, I think it's a concealer brush. It's quite dense, actually. It's quite firm. I'm surprised I thought it'd be softer for a concealer brush so it's a concealer brush I'm pretty certain that's what it is so this is the Ipsy brand so it's, this is a brand made by Ipsy and it's their brush is called complex culture because I always get this wrong complex culture and it is a precision concealer brush it's valued at it's valued at $26. I know it sounds expensive, but these brushes are actually really well made. I mean, I they're kind of equal to Sigma, I would say, in quality. They've got good design. They're not cheaply made. They're good. They're good. They feel good. Right, so what we have here, um, so Precision Concealer Brush. This isn't your standard fluffy concealer brush. Um, it has a densely packed bristles for a full coverage finish and an angled tip for ultra precise and even application when concealing your eyes the size of your nose or corners of your face yeah you can see that can't you yeah i like that i like the design um so tip use the edge of this brush to remove stray lipstick or eyeliner marks and to clean up your brows after filling and defining them okay so it's multi-purpose so yeah i'm really pleased about that so that's my third brush in this collection so um yesterday i unboxed where is it so yesterday i unboxed the eyeshadow brush yet to be cleaned because i'm going to be doing a brush clean and brush video at some point this week so that's what i got and this is the one i had already which i use for my bronzers and i use that today to be honest so these are nice looking brushes so yeah ipsy keep these ones coming very happy about that cool 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 right next um oh yes this is yenser this is yenser and it's a super eight lip oil in pink um lip oil seems to be quite trendy at the moment i've noticed and quite a few different sort of sites and youtube people seem to be talking about lip oils quite a lot just just seems to be a bit of a trend in these at the moment so let your lips live their best life with this tinted oil it is packed with eight different superfoods to supply your lips with the antioxidants nourishment and moisture they need to feel soft and healthy and the sheer pink tint it's gorgeous and universally flattering oh i hate it when they use the term universal okay so the tip sheer out your favorite lipstick by blending a swipe of this oil over your lips recommended retail price for this is 24 dollars let's show this to you um lipstick i've got on is a huda beauty lipstick but let me show you this first oh wow this looks bright oh it looks really bright oh word look at that wow this looks proper bright 
Oh, it really is oily. But the colour's not bright, actually. That's all right. That's something you could just wear on a natural day when you just want to nourish your lips. I thought it was going to be a really bright fuchsia pink, but it's not. Okay. And it's got a slight fragrance as well. Okay. Cool. That's cool. So, that's good. Alright, so it's got eight super oils in it. So it's got coconut oil, uh, vitamin E, um, what's that say? Acai berry, I think that says. Avocado, carrot seed oil. Um, is that chai? I think it says chai seeds. Black sesame seed oil. And flaxseed oil. So it's got quite a few different oils in there. Okay. And the last item in the box, what have we got here, is, oh, we've got another brow product. Hopefully this one's going to be a little bit more successful than the one I received yesterday from, what was the brand I had yesterday, which I didn't really like? Whatever it was, Scone, wasn't it? So this is from Al Il Maquillage. I've heard of this brand. I think they're quite an expensive brand. They do a foundation, which is a little bit controversial, I think, with the foundation. I can't remember how the foundation thing works, but I know there's something very weird about purchasing the foundation this brand does. Okay, Il Maquillage Hypnotize Fill and Fix Brow Shaper in Espresso. Recommended retail price is $22. At least we've got Espresso, so the colour sounds good. Good news, you can get thicker brows without having to use a bunch of complicated powders and pencils. All you need is this foolproof brow gel. Just brush it through your brows to deposit dark brown pigments and tiny volumizing fibres for natural looking fullness, depth and definition. Um, tip, used alone, this gel will give you used alone this gel will give you a your brows but better effect used on top of your favorite pencil or pen it will give you a bigger bolder statement brow the choice is yours well i've got my standard um, benefit brow pencil on i think it's the goof proof brow pencil i've got on and i've got it in shade um number five so let's have a look and see what this is all about so this is what it looks like Okay, that's what it looks like. Right, one mirror. Let's find a mirror. Let's bring you in. Let's do one brow, see what difference it makes. Because I have no brows at all, so let's see what they do here. Can you see a difference? I mean, my brow does look thicker, doesn't it? Um, it's quite a wet product and it's firm. And that's because of the spooling. Um, I'd like to try this without brow products on. So I will come back and try this on another time, I think, just to show you what it's all like. But, yeah, okay, I will be trying this out over the next month and then I'll give you a review at the end of April for that. And finally, I've got a bag. Isn't this the same bag? Oh, it's very similar to the bag we got from um, the Ipsy Glam bag. I think I actually prefer the Ipsy Glam bag um, to this. With Ipsy Glam bag plus, we're supposed to, basically with each level of bag, you're supposed to get a bigger bag so you can hold more items in it. And finally, if you got the Ipsy Glam bag ultimate, you're supposed to get like a train bag, you know, like a, those travel bags you can use to carry in your makeup if you're going somewhere. Um, so I'm actually quite disappointed in this. I mean, the colors are right, but it's actually quite boring to look at. And I'd say it holds less than the the actual glam bag which I got yesterday with the stud effect so I think I prefer the stud effect of this to be honest um, but you know what I'm gonna put this in the giveaway as well because I don't need this one so right so yeah so let me go through my ipsy glam bag plus products so we can show you what we got so first of all was the scrub which I'm going to put in the giveaway which I have put in the giveaway 
Then we had the eyeshadow palette from the Balm, which I've put in the March giveaway as well. I have the eye gel from Marlin and Goetz, so keeping that. I have my concealer brush, which I'm really pleased with, so that's cool. I have my lip oil, which I'm looking forward to trying out. And this brow product, which I'm looking forward to trying out as well. So six products from Ipsy. I'll put the total value of what this box is worth in American dollars. And I'll do the conversion again of, the, of how much this box is worth in UK sterling pounds. Um, this box cost me, I'm trying to remember how much it was again, this box cost me just under £40 in total to get to me, so that's good. So really what I'm looking for is to make sure that I've got my money's worth in the products that I'm keeping. I probably haven't with these four items, I'm not sure, because these are the four items I'm keeping. So I probably haven't made my money with the products I'm keeping, but that's by choice because I'm giving away the um, eyeshadow palette and I never would have kept the scrub I never keep body scrubs I just don't like them just don't like body scrubs at all I know I'm weird but there you go right guys that's my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus so I can finally show you the contents of the March giveaway box now and I need to think about how I'm going to send these products to you all so let me show you the final contents of the March giveaway box so the March giveaway I do this every month and it's usually content from that month on products I've received in my beauty box subscriptions that I've decided I'm not going to keep I'm going to put in a giveaway and it might be products from previous boxes that I've had overflow from and I'm putting in the box as well so to enter this giveaway number one and it's most important you need to be subscribed to my channel I do check I really do to enter the giveaway you need to go back to my fab fit fun video which I did at the beginning of the month and that's the illegible video so there's no point in leaving a comment saying please enter me on this video it's not going to get looked at you need to go to the fab fit fun video and follow the instructions on that video to enter for this giveaway I will be choosing the winner um, over the next couple of days so from midnight tonight that's when it closes and I'll be choosing the winner over the next couple of days I will notify the winner on that FabFitFun video so I'll either put a comment under their comment on that FabFitFun video or if they've left an Instagram um, details I'll notify them privately on Instagram one of the two ways you'll be notified if i don't get the contact address details from the winner within a couple of days i will then go ahead and pick somebody else to win my winners are chosen by a random comment picker it's not picking out someone who i like the sound of or anything it's literally a random comment picker that i use to do that when I when the random comment picker picks a name I then check to verify that person is subscribed to my channel and if that person isn't subscribed or I can't find their details when I look through the list I then pick somebody else so you do need to make sure that you are subscribed to my channel so you could be someone that could have been subscribed to me for a couple of hours you could have been someone who subscribed to me for three years I, I have no control over that it's literally just by that random comment picker just got to show that you are subscribed to my channel my voice is going I thought I was doing so well right, wait a sec <clears throat> that's better right okay so let me show you what's inside the March giveaway box okay so first things first because these are items I forgot to mention yesterday uh, this was in I think it was in the birch box maybe or it could have been glossy box this month and it was from forgive me susie and it's a it was a liquid eyeshadow so that's the first item so i decided i wasn't going to keep that so that's got in the giveaway box <clears throat> this also i think might have been in the birch box it was from balance me and it was a vitamin c repair serum so that's in the box you've seen the body scrub that's in there um, you've seen me put in the Autobalm Days to Night eyeshadow palette. You just saw me show you that. We've got Daily Concepts uh, Body Texture Scrub. You have an eye serum from Cougar Cosmetics. Belle Pierre Lip Product, Lip Gloss. 
Um, this was in the glossy box this month and that was a lipstick from um, MCO Beauty. It was a colour that just wasn't going to work for me. Let me show you the colour because I remember I didn't show it to you yesterday. So that's the colour. It's not a colour for me so I decided to put that in this month's giveaway. That was in the glossy box this March. So you've got two lip products there already. You've got an eyeliner that was in glossy box I think this month as well. I think it was glossy box. This is from Way. It was a hairspray for beach waves, that sort of thing. Not for my hair type. This was in glossy box or look fantastic this month. Can't remember which one. Um, we have got from Elizabeth Arden a super. What was it? A super start skin renewal booster. It's like a sample of that. This is from the Better Skin Company Lava Magic Cleanser Scrub Mask. This I got in a Fab Fit Fun box. So you got that. Um, this is an Illa Masca lipstick. It's a little sample size. I think it's Illa Masca. I'm pretty certain it was. Um, I can't open it to show you the colour because it's sealed. So I'll leave it sealed. Um, and we've got this was in my ASOS box at the beginning of March and it was like a little travel kit from Dr Yacht and it was a ceramid eye travel kit these are really good quality products by the way I did have another body scrub which I put in but I'm going to replace that with the coffee body scrub instead and I'll probably leave that body scrub for next month so you've got that one instead Right, so that's all the items in the March giveaway box. Just remember, if you want to enter that giveaway, the eligible video for that is the FabFitFun video, which I did at the beginning of March. Okay, so just make sure you're subscribed and follow the instructions in that video. Right, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give me a one of those down below. And if you haven't done so already, what? are you waiting for i'm giving you all of this false eyelashes and everything look i even put on false eyelashes for you today i don't know if this one went on very well but it seems to be holding up so <laughs> to me for doing the whole false eyelash thing going on here so subscribe to my channel press the notification bell that will ensure that you'll be notified whenever i do a video i'm gonna try and film a video every day this week she says I'm gonna try and do that um, and also if you do want to subscribe to Ipsy so if you want to try Ipsy for yourself because I subscribe to the Ipsy Glam bag which is $12 and the Ipsy Glam bag plus which is $25 I've got a referral code down below so if you want to do that please use my referral code the referral code will give me points I think that's correct it gives me points and the points accumulate and then I can purchase something from the Ipsy glam bag the Ipsy site at some point but you have to accumulate quite a lot of points I'm not quite sure how many points you get for each referral I really don't pay much attention to these things to be honest right that's it guys thank you very much for watching be safe look after yourself and I will see you soon take care bye